I built an $8,000 PC specifically for Star Citizen and it just wasn't working right because of Intel 12th gen, the 12900K processor and its e-cores. This is what I did to fix it. The 12900K has 16 logical cores, so eight cores, hyper-threading, 16 cores, but it also has eight efficiency cores, e-cores, which are the bane of my existence. You'll notice you don't see those anywhere around here because I did this. I went into the BIOS and I deactivated the e-cores, zero, because some games, and Star Citizen being one of them, wants to use all the cores that it sees. E-cores, efficiency cores, are like baby cores. They're not real processors, right? They're meant for background tasks. So trying to play a high-res game like Star Citizen on a beautiful machine like this, uh, it was stuttering. It would be like, this is going, and then stutter, and then go, stutter, and go, stutter. Yeah, stick for reference, right? So this is the easy fix. Um, I did a few different things where I was uh, testing legacy game mode enabled. Yeah, that didn't matter. C states on um, disabled auto didn't matter. Uh, C state limit didn't matter. Install Intel speed shift technology did, didn't matter. Um, so a lot of things you can do to try uh, different combinations. But in the end, the best performance came from just removing the e cores altogether until whatever dev development team for a game that you're having issues with actually integrates this and Windows 11 actually does a better job of integrating that into gaming as well. So after doing that, Star Citizen ran smooth as butter. So yeah, it's going over there, my gaming setup now, ready for prime time, and then I have black fluid coming from Australia. It's in Chicago, in customs. Chicago, send me my graphene fluid, please.